Welcome back. I'm Grace with your KTHS News. It's been a busy week for the basketball team, and we talked to some of the players. I'm Jake Parker. I'm Parker Brown. Uh, we got a varsity basketball game tomorrow, 12 o'clock, Saturday against Memorial. It's home. Come out support. Uh, hope we're going to catch the, catch the dub. Yep. It might only be January, but for seniors, the countdown to graduation has just started. Each Friday, we'll be checking in with some of our seniors to find out what their plans are for after graduation. I'm Michael Baker. I'm going to Texas A&M to study engineering. Hi, I'm Faith, and I'm going. Um, I'm committed to play volleyball at Ithaca College in New York, and I'm going to study physical therapy and kinesiology. Well, hi, I'm Sarah. I'm going to Abilene Christian University, and I'm going to study early childhood education. Yeah. Of course, we had to go check in with the one and only Mr. Beerkant. Hey students, quick message to you about student IDs. We've been wearing them all year, pretty much, uh, at least for the past two and a half, three months. A lot of you forget them. A lot of you maybe have lost them. Uh, whatever the case may be, we've been replacing them for you. We've been giving you a sticker every day. We've got a new procedure in place starting Monday, so it's very important that you pay attention to this. Everyone must wear their ID around their neck on a lanyard, or if you have a way of clipping it where it's visible like I have mine, that's awesome too. But if you ever forget your ID, what you need to do from now on is you go to your assistant principal's office from 7 to 720, and they'll give you the temporary sticker, and we'll, we'll be patient with you a little bit. We're going to give you a couple freebies there, but if you continue to keep forgetting it, there will be a consequence that comes with that, probably be a lunch D haul to start with and stuff. So let's make sure that you remember your ID, put it someplace where you can't forget it. Also, when you enter the building, please make sure you're wearing it. You know, when I'm going out there in the hallway, I see a bunch of people walking around and you got it in your pocket, you got it on your backpack, whatever the case may be. Not acceptable. We've got to have it around our neck. We've got to have it visible at all times. Okay? Uh, it's important that we have our ID not only for school safety, but also because you use it in the cafeteria. And the cafeteria really needs you to wear that around your neck and have it readily available so that they can do a quick scan and get people through the lines quicker. Okay? So again, you forget your ID, go to your assistant principal's office, get a sticker made. Now, if you have your ID and you lose it somewhere down the line, we can make you a new one, but from here on out, we'll be charging you for it. A brand new replacement ID costs $3. If you need a lanyard and a plastic sleeve, those are a dollar each. You do not have to use our lanyards. If you have your own lanyard that you like better, that's great. No problem. So, if any of you out there, and I know that it's during lunch that you're watching this today, but if any of you out there have lost your ID, get one today from me. See if you can come get one done at lunch. Uh, because starting Monday, uh, replacement IDs will cost $3. Um, other than that, you know, the new students will get a free ID, of course, when they come in, but that really doesn't pertain to any of y'all because you're here. Uh, so anyway, hope uh, that is all understandable. If you have any questions about this policy or procedure, please see uh, your assistant principal or you can see me and we can talk to you about it. Please make sure you're wearing your face masks every day in class and in the building. Make sure you're covering your nose. A lot of kids are not covering their nose, so make sure you're doing that. Uh, seniors, if you haven't picked up your senior t-shirt yet, come get them. And seniors, if you haven't turned in trash bag money, do that as soon as possible. Sorry that was so long. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to get out and support your Cougs this weekend. The basketball teams will be playing Memorial tomorrow, and we would love to have you cheering them on. Next week will be the annual electives fair. It will be in the Lego Gym during the school day. This is a great chance to learn about the many programs that we have on campus, such as FFA, Band, and ROTC. We have a table set up for student media program, and we hope you stop by. That's it for today, Cougs. Enjoy your three-day weekend. We'll see you next Friday. Masks up, stay safe, and as always, go Cougs.